just quickly go into that. The question was about people who are living before the time of Jesus and who never have heard of Jesus or the law given to the Jews. But these people knew right from wrong and had good character. Can these types of people at the judgment make it into heaven? The only scripture concerning this matter that came to my mind was in Romans chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Could you help me with this matter and if possible explain Romans chapter 2, verse 14, if this was the wrong scripture to give? Okay, all right. Romans 2 and 14. And when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, and their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts, uh, the mean while accusing or else excusing one another. Now, this deals with a person in the context of, Say for you're not saved. Mm -hmm. But you know if you borrow somebody's lawnmower and you don't take it back, you know it's wrong. Amen. So you don't need to be saved to know the difference. Amen. You don't need to be saved to go and uh, get mad at somebody and uh, just bust them out of the head with a baseball bat. Amen. You don't have to be saved to know that. That's not, that's not the proper thing to do. Yes. So there are certain biological laws that are in all humanity that even with heathen pagan tribes, they know there were certain guidelines. They knew, well, that's his, they didn't call a wife a woman. I can't bother her because that belongs to uh, the brother who lived in the hut across the street there. The, the, those things are human nature. Uh, stealing is a human law Amen. that God gives everyone. That's a part of the human law. So this is what Paul is trying to bring out in this part. But, that does not make you righteous. Amen. The only thing that makes you righteous is when God died to wash away all your other sins. Because if you sin here, you don't sin over there. Mm -hmm. So what God did eliminated all the sins. Yeah. But what Paul is trying to show, there are certain laws that you are born with that you don't need no Bible to tell you that it's a decent or a right law. Right. That's what he meant in uh, 2, 14, 15. Right. All right. I think we covered that. Okay. I guess he wants to know, can these types of people at the judgment make it into heaven? Now, you know, uh, at the judgment, now, it depends on what context. If he's talking about they died and didn't know the law. See, a person who died before Jesus came with grace. You recall when he was in the ground, I believe he said he preached, preached to the captives. Amen. So when he went, after he died, he went to the down into the depths of the earth yes. and he preached to the yes. captives. Yes. Now those are the people he preached to who did not know the law and they had an opportunity to, to accept uh, the teaching that God gave or reject it. That's why he went down there mm -hmm. to preach to those captives who had died not knowing the law. Amen. All right? Amen. I think I've covered that. Amen. All right, Amen. so we see the grace of God again. Yes. Again, we thank God for this Bible testimony. Don't let me fail. I want to be your bride.